Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving a problem related to average velocity. So this is the problem which reads, a boy walks from his classroom to the bookshop along a straight corridor towards north. He covers a distance of 20 meters in 25 seconds to reach the bookshop. After buying book, he travels the same distance in 30 seconds to reach back in the classroom. Find the average speed and the average velocity of the boy. So let's understand the question first to solve this problem. So let's say this is the classroom and this is the path which the boy takes to the bookshop. Now the path length is given to be 20 meters and the boy walks to the bookshop and he takes 25 seconds to cover this 20 meters. While returning back, however, he takes 30 seconds to cover the same distance that is 20 meters back to his classroom. Now in this situation, we are supposed to find the average speed and average velocity of the boy. We know that the distance between the classroom and the bookshop is 20 meters which is given in the question and the time taken to reach to the bookshop was 25 seconds and the time taken to reach classroom back was 30 seconds. Now, average speed and average velocity has to be found out. We know that the average speed is total distance divided by the total time taken. And here the boy has traveled the same distance that is 20 meter twice. That is while going to the bookshop and coming back to the classroom. So his total distance becomes 20 plus 20 which is 40 meters. Total time becomes 25 plus 30 which is 55 seconds. So let's substitute those values into this formula. That is 40 divided by 55 which is 0 0.728 meters per second. So this is the average speed of the boy. Now talking about the average velocity, we have to look at the displacement that the boy has made. Since the boy has started his journey from the classroom and at the end he has reached the classroom itself, his initial and the final point becomes the same that is in the classroom. And thus the displacement of the boy is zero. And since the average velocity becomes the total displacement divided by the total time, we write it as 0 divided by 55, which is 0 meters per second. So the average velocity of the boy becomes 0, even though he has traveled a distance with the average speed of 0 0.728 meters per second. I hope you have understood the solution of this problem and thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.